So as a manifestation coach, I really can't stand content that's like quotes or dating content that says things like, if they wanted to, they would, or people always eventually show you their true colors. And it's all this like negative assumptions about people uh, and external circumstances outside of us. And trust me, I used to give in to like content like this too. I even at one point was creating dating content over a year ago and I just don't do that anymore because a lot of it is just people projecting their own belief systems and their own experiences and then saying this is truth or this is how so and so you know actually feels and how they're going to show up if you don't do x y and z or if you act this way blah 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 and so i personally evolved out of that and i had to ask myself do i actually truly resonate with some of these things that i am consciously or subconsciously agreeing with and then teaching and then i was like at the end of the day like these are all just belief systems and collective beliefs that a lot of people have experienced because a lot of people have very similar beliefs. So of course that truth is going to be reflected back to them in their external reality. For example, let's say you're trying to manifest a specific person. If you believe like, yeah, this person definitely wants me, we're gonna be together, I feel it in my bones, I know we're gonna get married, they always respect me, they prioritize me, they choose me, they always give me princess treatment, then that's going to inevitably manifest for you because you full-heartedly believe that. But if you believe that you are unworthy, that you can't manifest a specific person because it's manipulation, it's wrong, you don't think you're good enough, you don't think you're this or that enough for them, and then you have to jump through all these dating hoops in order to get them to like you because that's what a dating coach said and blah blah blah, then those beliefs are going to be reflected back to you when manifesting your specific person. Because who we are being and the beliefs that come from the person that we are being is always going to manifest and be reflected back to us in our external reality. So moral of the story, listen to content with wisdom and consciousness, right? And only take on what you want to be true for you and only take on content as truth that works for you in your favor because you're the operant power, right? And then ditch any content that doesn't feel good, that only creates more limiting beliefs and hoops for you and let that shit go. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Let me know in the comments below.